Hello friends, welcome to my channel. I am Sonique and I've got a little unboxing of a Jenna Delagataglia deck. Now I did an opening and a review of Wild Woman Rising which I absolutely loved and so I'll link that below and I spoke a little bit about how much I love Jenna's art in that video. So I won't bore you by doing it all again but what I will say is <laughs> I bought another tech based on that and this is actually by Jenna themselves so I was really excited this has been on my wish list for a while um, I didn't hit the trigger until the other day because it came up for £13.74 it came up on offer on Amazon at £13.74 and I thought yep I'm going to get it now because it's not going to be that price again is it so let's have a little look together at my newest purchase my newest Jenna deck now Jenna has collaborated with quite a few people notably um, Colette Baron reed let's put that to one side Colette Baron reed um, a lot Angie Sullins uh, who else Shaman's Dream Oracle I've got that one yeah it's done quite a few actually so they're no uh, stranger to oracles and what they're all about so they've decided to produce one of their own what does it say a guide to navigating life with gratitude and kindness learning to reconnect um I know. what does it mean to coexist and connect with one another with respect and dignity oh yes oh yes in today's world it's so easy to feel alone even with so much going on around us, the Human Spirit Oracle is about what we all universally experience as humans and reminds us that we are all connected. So, Jenna was inspired to create vibrant, wildly symbolic art for every human to identify with and to make us think about the feeling it involves. The artwork promotes diversity in gender and ethnicity and love for each other, not only on the spiritual level but also on a human one. So open your heart and enjoy this journey called life. And so we've got some illustrations on the back to give us an idea of what the images will look like. We've got a lovely gold ribbon here. Oh, the card book isn't very big. What do we have? Let's just put these to one side. This is a rock pool deck. Um, the Wild Woman Rising. That is a US Games and I love this magnetic closure on the US games like this is just um, this is just cardboard open up box unfortunately <laughs> I've gotten spoiled haven't I <laughs> okay so yeah let's just have a look at the book Paul uh, introduction has used the card so it's a four page introduction has used the card is seven pages and then we're on to the cards themselves and we have 44 cards and about the creators and acknowledgements so here's the input look at that oh jenna's art chef's kiss personal notes look at this oh man how to use the cards oh these illustrations uh daily message card pull so one card daily draw um middle and then beginning middle and end card pull so a three card spread and we've got a week ahead spread so seven cards and then we're on to the cards look at this with the third eye we've got a small image of the card and then we've got upright meaning and reverse okay so that's all the cards then uh, the creator beautiful illustrator the co-author oh fascinated with crystals and astrology when he turned 11 he was gifted a beginner's tarot deck by a close friend wow so yeah so this is the wordsmith lawrence toner well, i was under the impression that it was jenna that had written it but obviously i was wrong <laughs> nothing new there <laughs> okay anyway enough self-deprecation and yes so i've got this beautiful oh my oh my oh my oh my oh my this is just a 
and insert box with a gold ribbon. The reason I'm going oh my oh my my look at that. Oh we got beautiful green gilded gilded edges. She reminds me of the uh, the Celtic Oracle. That's got the same sort of aesthetic. Okay. Have I just messed up? <laughs> no, okay, let's go in. Okay, so it would seem Oh, I see. I thought it was 10 upside down, but it's 0, 1. <laughs> That's me. That got me. So we've got the key phrase here on the side of the card. That's different. You know, normally we have it on the bottom. So that's nice that we get a full image here, top to bottom. I like that. So what do we have? Anyway, the wind blows. We've got a weather vane. Nice. Am I blue? Very blue card, isn't it? Beautiful. So, you know, quite cardboardy, matte-ish. Yeah, matte, matte cardstock. Beautiful backs. Like I say, it really reminds me of the Celtic Oracle. Celtic Spirit Oracle. This one, Nicola Macintosh. I don't know why, but it's just. <laughs> Bringing it to mind. I love this deck. One of my favourites. Oh, and there they go. But yeah, you can you can see I think where I'm coming from. They're very uh, aesthetically similar, aren't they? Although the fronts aren't beautiful. Anyway, <laughs> that's that's a different video, isn't it? So I've had this one quite some time. One of my favourite decks. Let's get back to the deck in hand, shall we? <laughs> So that picture was in the book, wasn't it? Commune, commune with nature. We've got some autumnal fields there with the, the leaves in the hair and the pine cones. Third eye, well. And what goes around comes around. So we have a merry-go-round. What does that say? Calm, karma Act 2. <laughs> well, that's quite, yeah. Fish bowl. Oh, this is interesting, isn't it? We do live in a bit of a fish bowl these days, don't we? Unlock your mind. We've got the key there. Oh, we've got the lock and the key. Gosh, for the peacock feathers. Stunning artwork. Of course, <laughs> of course, it's stunning artwork. It's Jenna's artwork. It's going to be stunning all aboard. It says here we've got like oh the sun's gone in, but we've got a tunnel. I would think. Yeah, look at this. <gasps> oh, can't wait to look at the guidebook. Um, I'm golden. That was in the guidebook. Baby, I'm a star. <laughs> There's confidence. Road less travelled. Yeah, no straight line, hey? And we've got another portal there. Oh, wow. Midas touch. Yeah, everything you touch turns to gold. Broken open. Wow, that's quite wow. Mm. Hit your target. Oh, look at the face. <laughs> oh, apple on the head. Oh, master of destiny. Yeah, holds the keys. Writes their own story there. Not my circus, not my monkeys. That's an old phrase, isn't it? But a wise one. There's a monkey in the cage there. Hothead. <laughs> wow. Wow. Gosh. 
easy does it. That reminds me of a song with the stranglers. <laughs> easy does it. It's his dream. I'm possible. Wow. It's got like a becoming feel to that. Butterfly effect. Support system. That's the uh, back of the card. Uh -huh. Siren song. Gramophone. And that lure the sailors to their death. Wallflower. Beautiful wallflower. But dare not speak, huh? Eye to eye. <laughs> nice. Playing chess. <laughs> Head in the clouds. Distorted the face there. Hmm. And make a wish on a star blowing a dandelion. <laughs> Take me back to my childhood. What's it say? Bound for boundaries. Private no entry, restricted area, keep out, private property, we've got a fence. <laughs> Give it a whirl. Oh, look at this. There's a film called Saving Grace, which is actually filmed down here in Cornwall. <laughs> it is so funny. And this just reminds me of the uh, scene in the post office. <laughs> if you get a chance to watch that film... Yeah, it will cheer you up. It is very, very funny. Anyway, uh, face the music. Another gramophone. Huh. Head over heels. Look at that. Imagine being able to do that. <laughs> Against the clock. Wow, what a timepiece is there. Cry for the moon. Gosh, very ethereal. Home body, <laughs> quite literally. My dad was a real home body. My mother was in a bit of an adventurer there. But it worked. Anyway, ducks in a row. <laughs> There's a lot of um, old fashioned sayings in this deck, isn't there? Eat your words. <laughs> Rude. Judgment. Doubt. <laughs> oh. No strings attached. Yes. Cool. Too many hats. Mm-hmm. Count your chickens. Yeah, they're all old sayings, aren't they? Old expressions. Don't count your chickens before they're hatched. Mm, forever young. <laughs> In the heart. Life of the party. As my mother would say, good time, girl. <laughs> Blessings in disguise. Wow. Pull yourself together. Oh, gosh. Yes, I was told that a few times. Third eye blind. <laughs> cool. Spill the tea. And then finally, manifest your miracle. So, yeah, there's a lot there of uh, old fashioned sayings, isn't there? Or expressions that we used to hear. Well, I did anyway as a child. Heard a lot of those expressions. So, I'm going to put a card and see what the wise human spirit oracle has to offer as advice for today. So feel free to take this if it resonates. Let's have a look. Two, three, yeah. Nice card start this. Beautiful. And we have too many hats. Oh, okay. Okay, let's read the guidebook. Too many hats. I love me a good hat. <laughs> well, you sure look good in a hat or 12. You know, this doesn't mean you have to wear all the hats all the time. We know that so much is expected of us, sometimes to be all things to all people. We are given so much responsibility in so many aspects of our lives that we are suffering from horrendous hat hair. <laughs> ah! 
Uh, and also it will lead you to spreading yourself too thin and being burnt out. We are asking you today to recognise that you are bogged down with too many hats and hang some or even one on the hat rack. Run your fingers through your hair and feel the way lift. Oh, that is fantastic. I love the way that was written. We've got a reverse meaning as well. So if we reverse the card, everybody needs a hat or two. Look at you, completely hatless, shirking your obligations. But for how long? Let's go try on a visor. It will block the shine of that which distracts you. It is easy to get caught up in diversions which are shiny and easy, but you have some responsibilities to tend to. Today, try to stay focused and on track. Do not get sidelined. So this is quite a direct deck, isn't it? <laughs> if that's anything to go by, these messages are not going to pull any punches. And sometimes we need that kick up the butt, don't we? Yes, to be the master of our own destiny and write our own story anyway thank you for watching friends until the next time that has been the human spirit oracle learning to reconnect by the wonderful artist jenna della gritta oh, i can never say that word della gritta della grotta i'm so sorry jenna della grotta glia how do you say that name? It's a beautiful, beautiful name. Um, I do wish I could pronounce it. So anyway, from Jenna and Lawrence. <laughs> um, again, thank you so much for watching. Bye, friends. Bye.